Nawaz Sharif supporters are jubilant at his return to power in Pakistan for a historic third time. But the elation only adds to the burden of expectations on the shoulders of Punjab's lion, both at home and abroad. I believe he's already announced that he shall order a full inquiry into the Kargil uh, misadventure by Pakistan, by the then Pakistani army chief, uh, General Musharraf. And uh, he had earlier said that he was not entirely fully in the knowledge of uh, this particular uh, misadventure. Nawaz Sharif faces uh, a number of uh, pressing challenges uh, and top of them is uh, revival of the economy because the economy is driving people into frustration. There is un massive unemployment, productivity is low, but at the same time he also faces a big challenge of extremism, religious extremism inside the country. Sharif faces a mountain of challenges. Pakistan's economy is in doldrums. Radicalism and terror are dragging it further down. Re-establishing a working relationship with Pakistan's army, along with politically opposed President Asif Ali Zardari, are going to be part of the tall order facing the soon-to-be Pak PM. Provincial governments led by different political dispensations and a gridlock Senate could come in the way of his governance and rebalancing foreign ties, particularly with India and the US, could also be a nagging worry. Nawaz Sharif has himself admitted that the economy is his biggest immediate challenge. Pakistan's GDP growth has slowed to 3% per annum since 2008. Its rating is B-, minus, which is six levels below investment grade. Inflation is racing ahead at 11% and the government's deficit has gone up to an alarming 8.5%. Its foreign reserves have shrunk alarmingly and direct taxes are abysmally low. Right now, we can't say much, but I think that the time with my security situation is very important on it. It's coming to the heat of the heat. It's going to deal with load shading, it's going to deal with the energy crisis. And I think that should be the priority of the new government. The energy scenario in Pakistan is precarious. Power cuts last up to 18 hours. There have been riots in different parts of the country. By angered people and power shortage has become a national security issue. Terror remains a major destabilizing threat. Sharif and the Park Army seem to be on one page over tackling terror, but relations in the past have been tenuous. Army Chief Kayani's term ends later this year, and it remains to be seen if Sharif can get an Army Chief of his choice appointed. The new PM's relations could also be prickly with the outgoing president. Zardari's term is getting over in September, and it is unlikely that he'll make governance easier for Sharif as long as he remains in the chair. From India's perspective, all these challenges and how Nawaz Sharif meets them could well determine the course of how Pakistan conducts itself with its neighbour as well as on the world stage. As far as Sharif's track record with India goes, we have had the historic Lahore Agreement, followed closely by the Kargil misadventure in the past. It can only be hoped that mistakes of the past do not get an encore. Bureau Report, DD News.